the great Douglas Adams once wrote, space is big. Really big. I'm going to add, it's also very photogenic. It's a familiar situation. There you are on a beautiful, clear night and there are millions of stars. If only there was some way of recording that forever. Mark Thompson's an astronomer by trade. Predictably, he's got a lot of kit dedicated to astrophotography, taking pictures of the stars. Hello. Oh, hi, I'm okay. hey, hey. <laughs> Good, thanks. How are you? Good. Good, thank you. So, Mark, I've taken a few shots with this compact camera. To be honest, the results aren't that great, so I'm hoping you're going to be able to help. Well, you've got to get the basics right. So we need a dark sky and we need it to be clear. Thankfully, we've got both of these. But something else you're going to need is one of these, and it's a tripod. You can get it for around 10 quid, and they hold the camera really steady. So with something like that, you can start to get some wonderful pictures. So get a tripod, wrap up warm, and you'll be happy to know it's actually easy to take some good-looking pictures straight away. So with objects like the moon, which are quite bright, you can actually just stick the camera on a tripod and point and click. It's as simple as that. And you can even add in a bit of foreground to make it look quite dramatic. So to take your own photograph of the moon, put the camera in manual mode and try the following settings. Set your aperture or f-stop wide. f4 is a good start and set your exposure to something like 1 250th of a second. And try the ISO or sensitivity of the camera at around 400. Now, to get a bit closer to the stars, you could pick up a telescope like this for under £200. With a steady hand and a bit of patience, there are some pretty good shots to be had, even with your mobile phone. Once you've found the moon through the telescope, line up the smartphone just so. It might be a bit fiddly. Press the screen to help your screen focus and snap away. If you have a DSLR camera, you can buy an adapter. You're just turning the telescope into a whopping great zoom lens. Just push the button. There we go. Hopefully. Ah, look at that. The moon right there. And it's not just the moon you can capture. These images were all taken by members of the public using a DSLR attached to a telescope. These pictures were taken with a DSLR or a compact camera, but getting into astrophotography can be done without spending too much on kit. In fact, a simple webcam can produce some truly astonishing results. One of the problems of taking pictures from the Earth is that we're looking through the atmosphere, which makes the picture jump around quite a lot. Now, webcams allow you to take video footage, so we can take all the individual frames of that video, add them all together with free software, um, and come up with a really wonderfully sharp picture. Brilliant. Well, free software, that sounds like something I could easily get my head around. Let's see if I can get this to work. The technique is called image stacking. I'm using a program called Registax on a Windows machine. There are other programs available like Deep Sky Stacker and Starstax. The software analyzes each frame of video and the resulting combined image is pretty good. It's even possible in this image to see Jupiter's great red spot, a massive storm three times the size of the Earth. So astrophotography is not just the preserve of NASA or Jodrell Bank. By combining a few simple pieces of technology, we can all take some beautiful pictures of the night sky. Why not give it a try?